All right, I'm going to try something new here, see if I can write out some examples and uh, see if this is a good way to go through lessons. We're in lesson 2.8, and uh, this section is called Inequalities and Their Graphs. Now, when we deal with inequalities, we're going to be using these symbols, less than, greater than, less than or equal to, and greater than or equal to. And the uh, way that you probably learned this back in elementary school was that it eats up the big number. The inequality eats up the big number. That still holds true. So if that's the way you want to, that's the way you want to remember it. That works just fine. Um, getting right into the graphing part of it. If you're given something like this, y is less than three, and you're asked to graph that on a number line. The first thing you need to do is construct a number line. Now, a number line just looks something like this. When you're doing these, all I think you have to do is put the number that you're given, the 3, put that in the middle, then go one number less, so that would be 2, and one number more, that's 4. Now, we're going to put a dot at whatever number is here. This sign tells us whether it's going to be an open circle or a closed circle. Now, if we go back here and look, less than and greater than. Then we have less than or equal to and greater than or equal to. If we're talking about this situation and we look at this, 3. Does 3 work if I put 3 in for y? So I'd get 3 is less than 3. No, that's not true. So, 3 does not work. However, if I go over here, let's try 2. Put in 2 for y. 2 is less than 3. Is that true? Yes, that is true. So that means that numbers going in this direction are going to work. Okay. When we draw our line, all of the stuff that falls underneath the line, so all of these numbers, as we go to the left, those numbers work. So another number that's over here would be 0. If I put in 0, 0 is less than 3. That's also true. Now, I can get as close to 3 as I want, but 3 doesn't work. 2.9999999999999. Okay, that's really, really, really close to 3, but it's not 3. That works, okay? That's less than three, but three does not work. That's why we have to have an open circle. Let's look at one that's uh, got the equal to on it. Let's say we have x is greater than or equal to negative four. All right, to graph, we're gonna draw our graph again here. And then the number we're working with is negative four, so I'll put that in the middle. One less, one more. Now, one less than negative 4 is negative 5. You're going deeper in the hole. Then here, one more would be negative 3. Now, we make our circle at negative 4. Now we need to decide if it's filled in or if it's an open circle. Let's try negative 4. Put in negative 4. Negative 4 is greater than or equal to negative 4. That's true because negative 4 is equal to negative 4. That means negative 4 works, so we fill in the circle. Now we need to decide which direction our arrow should go. One way to do this is to take a number, put it in, see if it works. So let's take negative 3 and put that in. Negative 3 is greater than or equal to negative 4. Is that true? Yes, that is true. Be careful with the negatives, okay? I would rather be $3 in the hole than $4 in the hole, okay? Be careful with the negatives. So that means our arrow is going to go in this direction. That means everything, as I go this way, works. Okay, now if I, if I would have chosen negative 5, I said, well, hey, let's try this, negative 5. I put in negative 5, negative 5 is greater than or equal to negative 4. That's not true. Okay? Negative 5 is less than negative 4. Now, another way we can look at this. If we go back up to our first example there and look at our inequality symbol. Okay? See the arrow? 
it's pointing the direction that our arrow is going okay the direction that our line is going this one notice this is like an arrowhead it's going the direction that our line is going now this is only true if the variable is first okay so if the variable is first then it goes the direction of the inequality if the variable is not first then it's going to be the opposite okay um, let's look at an example of that quick here Go on to the next page okay let's say we have this um, negative one is greater than or equal to x okay to graph that what I'm gonna do draw my number line negative one is my middle number so I'll pop that right in there one less than negative one is negative two one more than negative one is zero okay now I have my circle above the x or above the negative one excuse me then okay it's greater than or equal to whenever there's an equal to we're gonna fill in our circle okay whenever there's an equal to we're gonna fill in our circle because that number is going to work if I put in negative 1 for X negative 1 is greater than or equal to negative 1 it's equal to so that works we fill it in now if I remember I said it's the same direction as this however that's only true if the variable is first so if I tried 0 negative 1 is greater than or equal to 0 is that true no it's not true that means we're gonna go the other direction like so and there's our our arrow going this way that means everything under here should work so put in negative 2 negative 1 is greater than or equal to negative 2 does that work yes that is true negative 1 is indeed greater than negative 2 okay to summarize, we have just less than or just greater than, we're going to have an open circle. If we have less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, then we're going to have a filled in circle. And the numbers underneath the line, when we draw our graph, all of those numbers should work. Okay, so make sure you put one in and test it so you know you're going the right direction with your arrow. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, we'll see how it works and maybe I'll do more of these.